Good day, everyone. My name is Femi Adiroga, and I am excited to welcome you to the data analysis with Python and SQL class. Over the coming weeks, we will embark on a journey to explore the fascinating world of data analysis and its practical application. But before we proceed, let me introduce myself a little bit. Well, like I said earlier, my name is Femi Adiroba. I have actually spent years working in the field of data science where I have had the privilege of diving deep into data to uncover valuable insight and pattern. And I am here to share my knowledge and experience with you as we explore the ins and out of data analysis with Python and SQL. Well, this course is actually structured into two parts. The first part is discussion on relational database and SQL. The other part is on teachings about Python for data cleaning and visualization. Since this is the first part of the class, which is the relational database, we will actually be covering several topics here. And the first thing is, we are going to talk about the relational database. Also, we will talk about the fundamental SQL operation, which serves as the building block for data retrieval and data manipulation. And under this SQL basis, we will be talking about the select statement. Through it, we will understand how we can retrieve specific columns and rows from a table. Also, we are going to look at how we can filter, sort, and aggregate data. That means that we will explore techniques that can be used to narrow our data and present it in a meaningful way. Then we will proceed to querying single table. Then we will also go to extend our skills to the areas that involve querying multiple tables, which will allow us to actually draw connection between two or more table. Also, in this particular first uh, class, which is the first part of this class, we also learn how to insert new data, update existing record, and remove data when necessary. Actually, this part is secondary to the class of data analysis with Python. The part of inserting new data, updating existing record is much more relevant for database programmer. Just to expand our understanding about SQL, we are going to cover this part also. Now, we will advance our knowledge by understanding the power of grouping data and performing aggregate function using relevant command. So after we are done with that, we will also talk about the advanced SQL techniques, which are the common table expression and window function. So don't worry yourself on these subtopics. We will actually explain everything to you step by step. Then after we are done with the first part, which is the SQL, we will then move to the Python aspect of the class. And the first thing we talk about is why data analysis is essential in various feed and what, why we will also talk about how data analysis is quite important to your feed. So once we are done with that part, we are going to proceed with setting up the Python environment. I mean, setting up the tools we will actually be using for data analysis with Python. The first topic we are going to cover is the introduction to Python basics. Under this topic, we talk about variables, we talk about data type, we talk about operators. Also, 
we are going to talk about if else, if else and loop control structure in Python. This aspect is very important because it's going to help us to understand how we can actually filter our data properly. Also, we are going to look into the Python functions and Python libraries. And we will also explore data different, different data sources, such as CSV, comma separated file, Excel files, database, and APIs. Once we are able to deal with that part, we will advance our knowledge to the areas of reading and writing data using the pandas, one of the popular Python libraries. We will also proceed to the data cleaning techniques. And some of these techniques include handling missing values, removing duplicates from our data, going for data transformation and manipulation. Also, once we are able to complete the data cleaning techniques, we will advance to understanding EDA, exploratory data analysis and its importance. Furthermore, we are going to go to basic statistics and data visualization using two Python libraries, which are the pandas and the matplotlib. And in this area, we actually focus on how we can use Python for descriptive statistics, for also visualization, which in the form of Instagram, scatter plot, boss plot, and lots more. Then we will move to the advanced part of data visualization using Seaborn. Seaborn is also another Python library. It's a data visualization library. Then we will discuss the data visualization best practices. The, this aspect will actually prepare you to be more relevant in the industry, to actually make visualizations that are industry standard. After that, we proceed to creating interactive visualization with Plotly and Bokeh. These are also another Python library. Then we are going to progress to presenting insight through storytelling. So I believe that if you can be patient enough to watch this class, to also engage in practicals, trust me sincerely, you will definitely appreciate yourself for taking the decision to actually subscribe to this course. So throughout this journey, you will have the opportunity to work with real world data set, hands on exercises and practical example that will surely solidify, solidify your understanding of all the concepts of all the topics that has actually been mentioned earlier. I am looking forward to sharing my knowledge with you and guiding you through all this anxiety learning experience. So if you're ready, let's dive in together and embark on this adventure in data analysis with Python and SQL. So feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or if there is anything you would like to discuss with me. Let's make most of this class and enrich our data analysis skills. Thank you, and let's get started.